All right, guys, this is a little surprise. I haven't told anybody on YouTube about it yet. X-Pro uh, Vader, 125cc. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna be putting together here, but I will definitely show you guys tidbits and we will go on a ride. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like with all the cardboard off. Um, I haven't actually examined the bike yet. I'm kind of recording this for you guys as I go. Um, my next step is obviously disassembling this metal crate that is awful, by the way. Um, no big blemishes on the bike that I've seen. I don't know about that. Um, we'll see. But uh, there you can see the Hawk wheel. Compared with this wheel, just how much smaller it is. Well, hot tire, that's tight, you know what I'm saying. So something I don't care for already is they actually just cut a hole in this bar, ran it through the handlebar grips, and then tighten that down. Um, I'd have been really pissed off if this would have shifted the wrong way and broke that just because they thought that was a good idea. Um, I'm not going to be too mad about it because... I said, obviously it worked out, everything's fine. I'm pretty sure my speedometer is fucked up. Um, let me get this more apart and we'll go from there, guys. Oh, this is missing plastic, so hopefully they sent me that. Let's see the back. No, great, so that's nice, isn't it? Look at that, more stuff broken. Okay, cool, cool, what about this side? That's nice. That's nice. All right guys, so the bike is mostly together. Uh, my buddy James did come over to help me. We ran into two things, well, a few things actually. I already pointed out the, the turn signal, which is missing the protective plastic piece. Um, what he's working on right now is the Speedo. They had it all fucked up. It was twisted like, I don't know, almost 90 degrees to the left. And what I'm doing right now, is the oil and where they put their drain bolt you have to loosen your exhaust and pull it down to even be able to get the drain bolt out of there and not only that the oil you can see the bit you can see the bits and chunks that fell out of the brand new engine that definitely should not have happened this is not from the container this is the oil out of the bike um, what I did was go ahead and run a whole nother court through it to try and push as much as that out as possible really I should run this around the block and then change the oil again not that I really want to do that because like I said the exhaust you have to take it off every time just to undo the drain bolt so very fun <laughs> you don't want to go <laughs> Keep in mind, I still have not done anything to this Vader, guys. Anything. I think you can willy this. I'm kind of abusing it for literally having 11 miles. See, it's got a lot more, but the... The carburetor needs adjusted. I just... I'm 
having a hard time believing that that is how that clutch is supposed to feel. Oh, it bottomed out. Are we supposed to be here? No. Are we anyway? Yeah. Man, I don't know, guys. Put some little off-road tires on this thing. It'd be a fun little bike. It willies! Ha! Fuck yeah! <laughs> it willies, boys! It willies! It willies! either of them they're not screwed in look I'll show you this shit real quick so you see these here and here these aren't actually screwed into that this is pushed in here here and here it's just pushed in and it's held on with the rotor pretty much same thing with this side you slide this onto the the push pins here there's no screws holding this on if this rotor let's say I, I cut this piece of this rotor off this whole thing comes off too isn't that the dumbest thing you've ever seen? Yeah. Along with the, the goddamn exhaust fucking having to be taken off every time you change the oil. Yeah, <laughs> you take it around the block? Yeah, take it around the block. Fuck it. I'll follow you on yours. Okay. I need a view of someone, someone riding anyway. Sorry guys, I was concerned with his bike. I wasn't even paying attention to him riding. Things like slipping. Not the clutch, like the wheel. I'm gonna have to check his sprocket. Now I know why Chase and Yami love these fucking things, dude. Oh yeah, they're fun as hell. No, I'm not doing that. Fuck all that nonsense. I need a skinny little girl. I'm not doing that. Come on, Pappy. I'm not doing that. I'm doing that. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, Jake. This is horrible. Oh. Oh, dude. We're just going to go around the block. Don't find me gay for hugging you like that. It's okay. I don't blame you. <laughs> Keep 
This is rough. Yeah. Woo! Turns my noble steed. Oh, I got a cramp. We're gonna die. We're gonna die, Jake. I got a cramp. No. Oh god, the slipperiness. I know. Oh. All right, we gotta get back. I got a cramp. <laughs> you didn't understand. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, I got a cramp. That was okay. So, we've learned can it hold two people? Yes, should it hold two people? No, <laughs> this is a good example of just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something. Oh. This thing is a willy machine, guys. Willy machine. I'm liking it more and more the longer I ride it. I kind of hated it at first, but damn, am I having fun on it. Legit hurts your foot to shift though. There's gotta be something wrong. Other than me beating the shit out of it when I shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> 